Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I got a great video. I'm gonna be reviewing a Beyond Scared Straight Show, which I'm gonna get into why I don't believe in it and why it really doesn't work. But we're gonna do that right after I get started. Please, if you haven't checked out our member programs on Patreon and YouTube, and please subscribe. Uh, I haven't usually don't ask that, but please subscribe. We're trying to build up a great uh, audience so we can make change in this world. Now, let me get into this video. Uh, I watched this video. First of all, Beyond Scared Straight's a show that came out in the 70s. A show came out called Scared Straight, and it's the same premise as this show. I saw this one. It's called Beyond Straight. It's it's funny and epic moments. I don't see anything funny about this fucking thing. Nothing, nothing at all. I don't know where you put that up there because there's nothing funny about this. What they're doing to these young kids. Uh, you're gonna see it here, and I'm gonna explain why it doesn't work in in more detail. Uh, and we're gonna go over this. Dude, I can feel your heart beating through your shirt. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Well, why is your heart pounding like a little girl? I can't kill me. I can't kill me. It makes no sense. It's hell, it's hell. Anybody can kill you. You can slip and fall on the banana peel. This has to be a jail. Uh, they got the sheriffs running it. Uh, it's not a prison where you see DOC, Department of Corrections, whether it's a state or feds or feds or Bureau of Prisons. So this is sheriff, so this is a, a county jail. You can get in a car wreck. You can fall off a bridge. You can have an aneurysm on a toilet. You never know. That fucking jerk off. You can have an aneurysm on the toilet. Look at that. Oh, boy, I ripped myself up and say these guys. They, now, what good is this guy doing? I know he's looking at him saying these cops are jerk offs or dicks. Obviously, you know, you get rapport with people. You, you get into their heads in a little better way. And it's not this way. I'm Tony, a.k.a. Pebbles. I've got 14 years prison time. Now, Pebbles. This one kind of made me laugh because I remember we had a princess. And, uh, you know, princess was a, a one with the black hair with a ponytail. And then we had a Goldie. Goldie was a black uh, uh, transvestite or whatever you want to call it. Looked as a woman. She actually used to clean my cell. I'd pay her to clean my cell, do my laundry, all that kind of stuff. That's what you do in prison. I'll tell you what, though. Out of all of this shit I'm seeing, those are the people you get to be better be scared of. Because I watched a punk, is what they call him. Uh, I don't like the derogatory word, but that's what they use. I watched them put a snicker bar in and olive oil in water and then boil it and throw it in a dude's face and it all struck, stuck to his face. The caramel stuck to his They had a medevac to do that. The screams were horrendous. So those are the motherfuckers I'm scared of. What's, what's, why are you here? Still in the car. Stealing cars. Stealing a car. People work too hard for their money for some little Rudy Poop punk like you to go and break their and take their car. What you been here for? Smoking, being disrespectful. Smoking. Have this pod full of crackheads. Not me, girl. I didn't say you. This pod full of crackheads. In county jails, that is true. You're not going to see that in federal penitentiaries. Usually they're bigger crimes than crackheads. Uh, they're the dealers, they're the uh, murderers, they're the. Uh, Mobsters, they're gang members. It's a whole different animal in a federal penitentiary. Take them off, take them off, both off. Give me those shoes. Give me those shoes. Take them off. Take them off. Take off those shoes, right? I just talked about taking my shoes off when I was arrested because I had good sneakers and I took off the shitty sneakers because I do know you're fighting. You're going to fight anyway, but why lose them? So you're fighting. And they also put them in the, in the back when they give you the fucking Bobo sneakers in prison. Until you could buy what they have. Give me those shoes before I take them off. So y'all twins? Yes. I'm a twin too. I got an identical twin brother. He's locked up too. Let me get those. I don't want my shoes. You got your fist balled up. I'm not scared. You are, so you tough? These kids have anger management issues. Anger management issues. I don't like these shows, period. End of story. I don't believe in them. I think they're uh, counterproductive. I think they're... Uh, hurt now young people as well. Now we need reality. That's what I do. Reality check. Because I, I gave it straight. I don't sugarcoat shit. That's for sure. You all know me. But I don't need to fucking come in your face and like I'm the beat up a fucking 13 year old. Yeah, it's just stupid. Uh, uh, it, it does not work. And they get these guys. And when I'm looking at some of these sentences, I'm going to laugh. What is he in for? Are you a check fraud. Get the fuck out of here. Tough guy now. Cause he's in fucking thing and they ask him to do this shit cause he cause he's a black guy or he's a big guy or whatever the fuck it is that's all bullshit let him come to the penitentiary and we'll see where there was one dude who was a murder first degree murder dude who uh you know that they had participate i mean i can't see me doing that can you mean i'd snap 
What happens if I fucking snapped and really hurt somebody? I mean, you can it can happen. Why are you here? Being disrespectful towards my parents, fighting my mom. Your mom says you will her ass. Who does that? Who does that? That cop, the way he's talking, I like it, this guy, this, this, this deputy. He's right. Who hits their mom? I mean, come on, guys. If you're out there and you have an anger problem and you're doing shit like that, check yourself. You'd be surprised how much your parents love. The only two people you're going to ever call when you're in trouble is going to be your parents. Trust me on that. She's tougher than she looks. I'm Brennan. I'm 12. He is only 12. And uh, depending on maturity level, some of these kids don't even understand the consequences of bad choices. At about 11, they do. This is a little bit different. I've gotten into physical altercations with my parents, and I'm disrespectful. This one a little shocked me because they're letting the guys put the hands on these kids, and they're letting that happen. That's usually rare, unless I'm sure the parents had to sign something, but at what, what, what is enough? You know, does he drop him on his head? Does he snap? You know, one of the, I don't know about this because he's a county jail people. Uh, they're usually either getting out, going to trial, doing something like that, and they don't have the, the major charges. Uh, you know, and Beyond Scared Straight, as we're watching, if you typed in beyondscaredstraight.com in the browser, not Google, it goes to my website because I own that website, actually. Yeah, boy. I want you to hold this for me. Here, hold this. It's Kool-Aid. We put this on bitches like you. Lick your lips. Now stick your hand in that Kool-Aid. Just stick it in there. Now take your finger, just do this to the bottom one. Come here. You know, what he is saying is true. In the penitentiary, uh, they used to actually dye their underwear with Kool-Aid. There's a way to dye them in Kool-Aid that the skit stained and they'd be like kind of an off pink or some shit. And they would dye them from with cherry Kool-Aid. Uh, so they used to do that. That This is all true here, uh, what he's doing with, with the uh, packet. I mean... I never see someone make them do that. Obviously, they get to become a woman or whatever it is in prison, and they do what the fuck they want to do. I kiss you, you orange flavor mother. My name's Steven, 16. I like to do home invasions, and gamble. What, what's wrong? What, what's wrong with you? This kid reminded me a lot of me, 16. Uh, we did home invasion. I didn't do those, but gambling. Big time. Home invasion is a serious crime. It's a real serious crime, home invasion. And especially it's called uh, a robbery of an occupied dwelling. If that place is occupied, that's a major, major crime. You can go away for a lot of time. He's lucky he's a juvenile. Oh, What's wrong with you? This cell float. You want, you want to see where I be at all day every day? You want to welcome to the house of terror? This cell float. Maximum security. You want to fight me? Get on the floor. Push up. Push up. Push up position. You heard? Stop. 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 You better not stop. You, you better not stop. I'm watching them do these push-ups, and uh, and I gotta get back in shape. Uh, I used to do fucking crazy amounts of that shit, so I do gotta get back in shape on that, guys. You know Ti, huh? No, For real? So why you got your hair cut like that? You know what? Instead of fifty cent, I think he's about a nickel. What do you think? Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I like this cop and this guy. They sound like jerkos. Oh, he's fifty cents. No, he's a, a, a three cent. Stop you! I mean, this one made me fucking laugh. Yeah, yeah, you three cents, right? <laughs> Why are you disrespecting your mom? Like an ended pregnancy. What if you lost your mom? What if you ain't have no mom? She's talking. Let me tell you, the women, women sometimes are better than men. I'm telling you, that's how it goes in the joint. Turn around! Turn around! Are you deaf? Turn around! You know these kids are so good on computers and everything else, they know what to expect during this shit. That's why you're gonna see some of them uh, uh, push back. And they know these guys can't really hurt them, they get sued and all that kind of shit. The only thing I say is that what, what do you do if, if a guy like me or a guy does life, he snaps. What do you give him, another life sentence? You brought this kid in here? I'm mental as it is? That's crazy. But they don't go bring these guys to penitentiaries. They bring them to county jails or something like that. You give me a hard time about everything. You don't want to do the room, you don't want to do... Look at this kid. This kid looks like, uh, come on. I mean, having this kid in here, you could scar him for life. You really could. You don't want to do yard work, and I, I just want you to stay here just just for a little while. Yeah. So we can... No! Come on, come on, come on. It's fucking stupid as hell. This kind of gets me mad about these, these things, and they think they're doing good. He's such a kid, he's so immature, he's just... 
he's got probably got some issues going on, obviously. Jail is a bad place to be in because it kind of smells funny. I like what he said there. Jail smells funny. It, it's not just the smells. It is does. It does. There is a, an odor to it. There's a human odor, whether it's people being locked up all together all the time. So it, there is an odor to it. Never thought about that till he said that. What's up? You like to fight, homie? That's what you like to do, huh? You little bitch. You's a bitch, homie. You's a pop tart. I see right through you, homie. Look at this. Domestic violence awaiting sentence. Carnell, 27. Okay, what's his big fucking charge? Domestic violence. Beat up a girl? This is the fucking guy I don't like. This kind of stuff that they have these guys yelling at these kids. He's right about the kids. Not every kid who comes to prison thinks they're tough. And they're not. That is all true. But, I, you know, I don't like them that going in their faces like that. I just think that's wrong. I want these kids to know right now they got a chance. He does have a good uh, about wanting these kids to have a chance at this age. He's right about that. Give him that. Like the pop tarts. You pop tart now. You think you hard? Everybody understand what a jumping jack is? I can't hear you. I think this part was funny, to be honest. I think this part was funny. These girls doing jumping jacks had me fucking rolling. Exercise, go! Hunt, to hike, hunt, to hike, hunt, to hike. I think that fucking guard's getting off on this shit. I think he was an ex Marine drill sergeant, whatever the fuck. What the fuck? These kids know that? Whatever. I can't hear you. Zero. Zero. Who told you to stop? My pants. Who told you to stop? I don't care about your pants. You better make sure they stay up. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Ready? Exercise. Go. Let me tell you something. That girl's pants really fall down. These guys are in trouble. That they wanted to discuss with me being a, doing a show called uh, Lawton's Law. This happened all oh, 12 years ago, and it was like it's not scared straight because. I don't believe in yelling in people's faces. I don't believe in threatening them. I don't think that works because a lot of science behind this, the federal government, a lot of places do, will not even discuss scared straight. In fact, I won't either. Uh, I don't believe in it so much because if you yell at somebody and I mean you're in their face, what's the first thing they do? They have two reactions, fight or flight. If you can't beat me, you're going to try to get out of the situation. So you put up a wall. A total wall, so you're not really accepting the information. Now, if I tell you about a kid who got his ass cut from the top of his anus until his scrotum and seminal fluid was found, you're going to remember that story. Because I'm telling you the story. I'm not just screaming in your face. This is what's going to happen to you. All that bullshit that goes on on these shows. Are well, you two too up to talk, huh? My name is Brindley. I'm 17. I'm the nicest person. He ever. says he's nice, but domestic abuse is usually like hitting his mom or hitting somebody in the family, even the dad. Again, I don't believe in that, guys. If that's even you, think about it. I don't believe in it. There's no way. I don't give a fuck how bad your parents are if you think they're bad. You never swing on them. Ever. I'll bite your nose off if you was up in here. So you bring up in here. You want to do something. Make a move. I can't stop your takeoff, but I'm going to crash your landing. The kid's staying hard. You punk. You touch me, I'll f you up, man. I'll f you up. Look at this kid gets mad. He wants to fight him. I like this kid. He's got a little heart. I don't get too. <laughs> Look at that little kid. He's got a little heart, that little fucker. My name is Ethan and I'm 13. And I got in trouble for throwing books at teachers, disrespecting teachers, cussing out teachers, and fighting. This, there's so much more to a kid like this, 13 fighting and throwing books at teachers and that this kid is wanting attention this kid is wanting so much more this is not the environment for this kid you could have lasting effects on a kid like this you really could and that's why i don't believe in beyond scared straight or scared straight why are you smirking don't make me come across this counter i don't know why did you smirk at me he are says you... he don't know you can't speak up can you? Are you smirking? that was funny because that fucking cop couldn't even get over that fucking counter too good did you see his fat ass trying to get up over there? He sure wouldn't have made it in the jewelry robbery business when I used to jump over fucking counters. He could have did that and looked a little better knowing he's on TV, but what the fuck? I get it. You can't do it. But now you're tough to this little fucking poor kid. Come on, guys. Did you smirk me because you think I'm funny? Did you smirk me because you think I'm a jackass? Uh, you... How in the hell are you going to steal from an old woman? Go ahead, wipe your little eyes. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Boo -hoo. That cop is a dick. That old fucking cop is a dick. You can just tell he's a fucking dick. They just want you. They want you. They're all fighting over you. 
You think that's a great thing that, you know, they, they show, they take the fear away after you do this too. You know, uh, it's not, not a right way to go. Everybody, every study in the world says that. Lay down on the table. Lay down on the table. I'm gonna let it lay down on the table. Somebody throw me a white sheet. You, you gonna see, this still is cold, ain't it? Guess what? You are officially a dead man walking. Believe it or not, he's right about that. Young kids come to prison, it's, it's sad, man. Even if they don't get killed, they, they come out in a bad way. They really do, and that's why I don't want people to go to prison. I think we have to try everything in the book to not let them go, but there comes a time when you do have to go to prison. Hey, see this? This keep the mice out from eating up everything I got. You know, what she said right there about the mice eating everything up, I used to get rats too in our cells. We had, a, we had a under the door about that much space in Atlanta and the rats, I told you, I used to take a garbage pail. They give you a, a metal garbage pail. I, I remember the, the fucking, I, I wanted a pet. I wanted a pet rat. So I took a garbage can, I turned it upside down. I took two pencils, cut them and made a notch in each pencil over there and the rubber is on the, on the uh, floor. And I made them crisscross like this with a piece of a uh, sheet, a little thin piece of sheet tied to one of those pencils going all the way to my bed. I put a little bait in there, a little peanut butter or something right in there. And I'm waiting for a rat to come in, get the thing. I pull the pencil out, the garbage can goes down. That motherfucker, I mean, are you talking about good? I'd be laying in my bed, tired, waiting, waiting, waiting. I fucking fall asleep, I get up, the food is gone. It's like they knew I fucking fell asleep. Fucking funny as hell, man. Obviously there's rodents in these prisons and, and they do. I mean, one time the, the lock was closed and I hear, chick, 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 chick. what the fuck? I open the lock or nothing. Close the lock or go back to bed. Chick, 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 chick. I get up, I open the lock. A fucking rat jumps on my chest. Ah, I'm screaming, I'm screaming like a mother pussy. Fuck this, a rat jumped on me and it ran out, you know? And uh, Fucking guys are here, what happened? What the fuck happened, what happened? Oh, it was funny as shit, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, you know, the rodents were bred, all the roaches. You used to have to put uh, tissue paper in our ears because the roaches, while you're sleeping, will go in your ear and fucking can fuck you up. And that happened a lot. You wanna live like this? Every day I gotta wash my socks, my underwears in the shower. What an accent, the shower. Come on, Seth wanna go in there, you wanna go in there? Come on. Come on. Come on. Huh? I can't. Why you can't? Because the door's not open all the way. I'm Seth. I'm 14 and I'm an unruly child. My IQ is 120. Now this kid here has got 120 IQ. This kid's a smart kid. The average IQ is probably 100. Uh, this kid's 120, which is pretty good. I like to do parkour. But as you can see, everybody, he is a kid. He's immature at the core and you can't accept change. A guy who's not having his brain developed the right way, you could fuck him up doing the shit they do in the show. Why you ain't going there? Right off. Look at this girl. Watch this, guys. This is good. She fucking took a swing. She took a swing at that cop. Obviously, it wasn't too great of a swing. She should have went to the body. But it was fucking funny as hell. And now they're going to put her in cuffs, of course. But the bitch is thinking, says, fuck you, motherfucker. Bam! She tried to swing. That was, that was, she didn't try. She did swing. But she didn't hit anybody. You got something on your mind? You know what you need to do, right? Yeah. What? What? Those loud ones, the guys like that, you're never worried about in prison. The screamers, yellers, banging, playing domino. You're never worried about them. They're all fronting. It's the guys quiet you're worried about. And if you got a roommate, you got to watch this man pee. Why hit thing right there in front of your face? Like, bro, I don't want to see your thing, bro. See what he's saying there? He's trying to teach this kid the right way. This I like. Telling them about shitting with people, jacking off, doing whatever the fuck you do. You know, it, it's a rough thing, man. It, it, it's, there's zero privacy. So you gotta get used to that real quick. Then when you want on the toilet, you gotta watch on the toilet. You gotta smell his boo boo. He smell his boo boo. <laughs> Get up! 
Ain't no sleeping in the prison. Watch out, boy. Stand up. Come here. Make sure you are. You all right? You know where you at? That kid don't even know where he's at. I mean, he was such a hard sleep. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes, sir. That kid did not give a fuck. And he's just fucking fuck you, really saying him. Saying whatever he wanted him to say, but it's really saying fuck you. What's that you from? Playboy guys the crib. You wanna talk to him? Yeah. Take the cuffs off. This guy's real. 60s, huh? This hey. dude's this dude, first degree murder, waiting trial. That's rough. What you in here? Now you tell your mom when you leave here. Mom, I promise you. I won't gang bang again. I like that guy. Did you see him when he was doing the push-up talking to the kid that way? That's the way to do it. The yelling and screaming, he could tell some stories about his life is gone, he's murdered, whatever it is. I mean, you can't talk about his case, he was awaiting trial. But his charge was first degree murder. That doesn't mean he got that, he could have pled out, could have did a lot of things. What the f*** your mama and everybody else? How about it? Huh? all your dead relatives, I don't give a f***. Yeah, nobody's gonna make me do eat my thing, I do what the f*** I wanna do, and I'm tired. That girl's crazy. I'm telling you, the women are crazier than men. Did you see her? That girl was off the charts, man. One in and have a seat. They throwing her in the hole. Oh, this is gonna work out. I I hope you liked what I talked about, but I don't believe in scared straight for a number of reasons. I don't. I think you could damage a kid worse, and a lot of studies say that too. I tell some tough stories to kids. Very tough. My video, reality check program video is the real deal. You know, uh, it, it, it was raw because I was out, I just was out not long and the emotions were really there uh, in that video. It's called the Reality Check Program. It's in my, on my website. And I, I look at that and I don't yell, I don't scream, I don't, you know, you don't do that. You don't have to do that. You know, scared straight, they tried it, they showed it don't work, they even have the government won't give you funding, nobody will give you funding. I'm a believer in this. You see it? I don't believe in bad people, I believe in bad choices. I think there's a lot of good people. Yeah, you got some psychopaths out there. But for real, most young, especially young people, I believe this right here. That's why I wore this shirt, Dorn. Well, I hope you like this. You know, I don't believe we're scared straight. I do want to help young people. I do hear from them a lot, which makes me happy on the channel. Make good choices, man. Don't go to prison, it's not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth it. Just listen to my Gangster Redemption series. That's all you do, go in the playlist, listen to the Gangster Redemption series. All right, guys, have a great day. Please make good choices. Live your life. See you soon.